The University Academic Staff Union, WASU, has threatened to push for the removal of Education CS Ezekiel Mashogu following his proclamation, which suggested that the government could stop funding public universities. Speaking in Nairobi, WASU Secretary General Dr. Constantine Wesonga termed the statement as reckless as it could alter the higher education landscape. And as Laura Tino now reports, Nyeri Town legislator Duncan Madenge has also warned against the move, which he says will disenfranchise millions of learners from poor backgrounds from accessing university education. Barely three days after hinting that the government could withdraw capitation from public universities, Education CS Ezekiel Mashogu is still on the receiving end with different stakeholders emerging to berate the proclamation. University Academic Staff Union Nuasu jumping in the bandwagon, accusing the CS of going behind the president's back to withdraw parks they had been promised would revive public institutions of higher learning. Does he understand that the president signed a charter with the members of the university community? And now that he has taken a position, do we still go to present our views? how to finance university education to the presidential working party on educational reforms. We want him to come in the open and tell us what he meant. Because as a union, we can petition the president so that he's being removed, he be removed there forthwith. Over the last five years, funding to public universities has been on a steady decline, with the shortfall rising from $7.8 billion in the financial year 2018-2019 to a whopping 28 billion shillings in this financial year. Currently, the government finances up to 80% of the unit cost per student, with the withdrawal expected to balloon university fees tenfold. For example, a course in basic humanities where students currently pay an average 16,000 shillings per year as tuition fees could go to an upward of 144,000 shillings per year. A student at a public university would have to part with 720,000 shillings annually to study dentistry and 264,000 shillings yearly to study basic sciences. The cost of academic programs is usually determined by the cost of paying lecturers, equipment needed, laboratories and learning resources required among other factors. The CS having called on public universities to generate their own revenue. Does it now mean that public universities have been given free hand to charge fees at market rate? And what is the implication of that? It means now education is going to remain for the rich only. Who will allow him to do that? We will not allow him. Ile pesa waziri anasema ataondoa. Ni ile pesa yenye inamshikilia mwananchi wa kawaida mwenye hana uh, uwezo kamwe wa kudhibiti gharama ya elimu ya vyo viku. Public universities in the country are currently reeling in debt, with some having been declared insolvent by the Auditor General. Public universities require about 84 billion shillings to run smoothly, with the government currently allocating a paltry 43.9 billion shillings to fund undergraduate courses. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.